see the spiritual world open and as I look in the realm of the spirit I see heaven open and the blessings we have been poured and I begin to ask the Lord I say what is this blessing all about the Lord said this blessing is for you and all these people that are watching you I don't know the area of your business I don't know the area of your job I don't know what you do but all I know is that God has decided to bless you God has decided to favor you God has decided to catapult you God has decided to send to you God has decided to take you to the top God has decided to break every yoke or barrier on your way to make sure that you climb the top I decree and I declare the ladder of sorrow Success, the ladder of next level, the ladder of breakthrough, the ladder of upliftment, the ladder of connections, the ladder of favor. Let the Lord give it to you to begin to climb in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy into your life is there anything that is troubling your foundation? Is there anything troubling your destiny? Is there anything struggling with your star? Is there anything spiritually or physically trying to pull you down or try to stop you? Let the fire of the Lord consume you those things and begin to give you the connection that you need from the Lord to put the ladder, the ladder to next level, the ladder to break through, the ladder to upliftment, the ladder to become the what the Lord has created that you will be. Let the ladder to possess your position and step into the next glory, to the next level of glory in your life. Let the ladder be given you spiritually. Listen to me, you are going to see yourself in revelations. The Lord said, I should tell you, a revelation is coming i see you having a dream and in this dream you will see how the lord has lifted you higher and i pray that the lord who is lifting you higher will never ever let you down the lord who has commanded the major prophet of god to prophesy into your life will never ever let you down and i want to let you know that as the lord is catapulting you to the top you will not come down you will not fall you will not go lower but continue to go higher higher above every limitation if there's anybody in your father's house who has gone high before i see the lord putting a ladder for you to overtake spiritually overtaking is allowed i promise I, you overtake right now spiritually overtake financially overtake materially overtake spiritually overtake every area of your life begin to overtake now begin to overtake begin to overtake begin to overtake begin to overtake receive the grace needed the power needed the anointing needed the favor needed everything needed receive them all so that you become who god has predestined you to become in the powerful name of jesus and i also cover you with the blood of jesus as a prophesy no power from you from family from neighbors from friends from anywhere can be able to bring you down if there's anything that could have bring you down the lord move ahead of you to remove them before your time the lord remove them before the time of your blessings in jesus mighty name i pray amen another matter the lord took the major prophet of god and began to show me in the realm of the spirit is what's called a discovery of different kinds of mineral resources mineral resources I am seeing a new invention of what's called a new invention of what's called modern day technology. And as I see this modern day technology, and I see the Lord right now, the Lord begin to make people to discover mineral resources that will be used for this latest modern day technology. Because all the technologies and everything they are used on the face of the earth, I see it now coming to expiration and the new technology is about to come. And this new tech, it has to do with what's called artificial intelligence. This artificial intelligence is going to be another phase of what's called new invention and discoveries of different kinds of mineral resources that will be used for what is called production of this what is called this is this is this is this is what's called a new invention new invention be ready be ready you will see this in i promise it often and often here you will see the street being taken over by a lot of machines in form of even dog i am seeing what's called what's called machine dog produced 
this machine dog become a dictative and as i look at the machine dog i'm seeing it moving like a dog i begin to run like a dog and it's so 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 intelligent in such a way that it become a dictative kind of uh, kind of machine a dictative kind of machine and this machine is going to be used to combat especially crime but as they use it to combat crime, I see the same people using it to combat crime now turn it to use it to now begin to now checkmate citizens and also begin to give citizens uncomfortability. And this thing, as I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit, I don't know whether physically it has started, but the Lord is showing me what is about to step on the face of the earth. I see this machine is standing like a dog, like animals, like a horse. The one that will be like horse will be like horse. The one that will be like bears will be like bears. The one that will be like dogs will be like dogs. Even the ones that will be like lion. But will not just be killing people, but will enter into the street and begin to walk with the artificial intelligence. Can walk properly, will not fall, but walking life, just this is what's called life lion. But it is a machine, not ordinary lion. I don't know where they are producing this in because the Lord is showing me what's called the, the deepest ocean. And I see myself in what's called the, the deepest ocean and I see what's called the, the activities that are going on right there in the ocean. And this is what's called activities going on in the ocean. I don't know whether the technology are they now trying to bring it from the ocean or they made their office underneath the sea. So as to now run away from where human being can spy on them. Because these people that are going to come with this are going to be using because I see in the realm of the physical I see what is called the launch of 6G to 7G. I see a launch of 6G to 7G. And I begin to ask myself, what is 7G all about? We are still talking about 5G and we are not done with 5G. Where is the 6G and 7G coming from? And the Lord says, 6G and 7G is going to take over the world very soon. And I begin to ask myself, does it mean that the, the 6G or the 7G are going to now become mass like the people that have what's called all the telecommunication mass? And the Lord said, this is going to work directly with the satellite. As long as you are under the sky, not that you are hidden somewhere in the ocean, as long as you are under the surface of the earth, if you like, go underneath the water, the 6G will work there. Because there's going to be an invention of another type of telephone. This is handset. Another type of what's called handset. This handset will be. It will be like 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 like. This is this is more of. Uh, 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 it's not just a phone. This is not a phone, because what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, I need to describe the way I am seeing it spiritually, because the eyes of the Lord has opened the eye of the major prophet of God to see clear, and as I'm describing, we can be able to now get it. When the fulfillment comes, we can now be able to now now have what's called a reference to this prophecy. So you know that this prophecy was just given and it has come to pass. I see another kind of, this is what's called, this was called handset. This type of handset, we do so many things. It will do so many things beyond what we have now. Because what we have now in the uh, 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 Android, uh, uh, Apple, and the rest of the of the smartphones, what we have now has what is called limitations. Limitations. But what I see in the realm of the spirit that is coming to the physical realm is no more, it's not something that has to do with limitation. This is what is called, you don't need to put anything called CCTV anymore. You don't need CCTV anymore. With this very handset, this is, this telephone, telephone, this telephone, this is a telephone set. With this kind of telephone set, you can be able to be looking at anywhere in the world. At your sitting down, you can sit down here with the phone. You can say, let me check how Florida is. 
you will open, go to Congo and set up, and Florida will be picked up with video, visual. I'm telling you what I am seeing in the realm of the spirit so that you will be able to, you know, be able to balance them together and understand the prophecy. I see something that you will hold in your hand. You can be able to use it in your hand without CCTV. Because, you know, like now you can have a CCTV, uh, you know, put in a compound and then you can, you know, you know, connect it with your phone, Wi-Fi or thereabout or whatever, or password. And then anywhere you go, you can open the app and go through the CCTV and see where you want to see it. This one is not about CCTV planted anywhere. This is about what is already on, on, the, on the air, like a satellite on the air. And this satellite on the air will now pick everywhere alive. Not picture, but live, video live. You can be able to sit down here and see a place like Florida, or see a place like uh, 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 New Jersey, or see a place like, 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 uh, like uh, uh, London, or see a place like uh, Madrid, or anywhere in the world, you can easily sit in one place and then oversee all of those places. Because this thing is going to be rampant. But the people that are in authority will want to oppose it. But people that have their way and their money will go for it and they will get it. It will be another means to rule the world. Because the technology will not be exposed to every company to produce. It's going to be personal something that the people that is going to invent this. I don't know, in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing a, a black man from Biafra land being among the people to produce this thing that I'm seeing in the realm of the physical that is about to happen. This is a Biafra man, a black Biafra man that is not in Nigeria, but outside the country overseas. And it's now used to invent this that will shake the world. And the people producing Apple phone, people producing Android phone will be looking for this person. They will say, what you have produced is very shocking how many this thing alone has what it takes to penetrate, to orbit, and also spy anything in the air. Which means the connection and the connectivity and the sensitivity Activity of this very gadget will be able to capture anything happening anywhere at any time and it does not need what's called mass it does not need oh this is gsl this is uh, uh, mtn this is glow this is this or whatever or, or vodacom or whatever or whatever you call it but this is going to be something that somebody this is this is a black man this is a man from Biafra land now bringing this technology but it's God that is going to endow this technology. I don't know the person but I'm seeing this thing about to happen in the realm of the physical another dimension that even Apple will now begin to say oh how do we now buy this technology because it's going to be a very tremendous and surprising kind of technology that people will wonder. I begin to ask myself, I say, this technology is it not the, the, the Asians or the Americans or the Jews or who are the people that supposed to and the Lord said, no, you want to show the world what's called another dimension. 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 Very soon, the people in Nigeria and people in this part of the world will no longer struggle for what is called uh, Nepa bring light. Nepa did bring light. You no longer struggle about that. Take note of what I'm saying now. Electricity issue will be a thing of the past very soon. So you have a generator in your house and uh, somebody is uh, you have opportunity from now to six months time, get yourself ready and dispose them away. Something is coming. I'm talking about people in Nigeria. We'll continue to trust the Lord and to have faith in God. When we trust the Lord and we have faith in God, God is surely going to help us. God is surely going to deliver us. God is surely going to make us proud. And when the Lord help us, make us proud, we'll be proud that we are children of God. Because there's nothing God cannot do 
for those who love him. If you have not loved God with your heart, please try and love the Lord. Everything about God, let it, let it be something that you love the things about God, the things of God so much in such a way that you can, oh, like as we talk about the building of God's house, don't wait for me to say, oh, have you supported us? Do what you can do to build the house of God and then see the reward coming back to you beyond your imagination in the name of Jesus Christ.